My strong belief is that in the 21st century, a fundamental definition of citizenship must include a person's responsibility to be a productive worker, a productive citizen, meaning a voter, a participant in the political process, and a productive giver. We had an interesting idea that we could get together and discuss some of the major problems facing the world and that at the end of this process, every person who was at the meeting would make a commitment to actually do something about it. My commitment committed to the commitment. Our commitment. My commitment. We have a committed. Uh, we have built a school where there's no electricity and water using solar panel power, satellite dish. Can you help me realize my dream that my children one day will learn that they are members of one family? I live in a state, uh, Florida, it's a beautiful place, but it is probably the most vulnerable state to global climate change of any other. And because of what you're doing here and what Florida Power and Light is doing, it's making a difference, it's making the world better, and it's helping my state. These collective commitments will restore or protect more than 170 million acres of forest, 400 million gallons of clean water. They give 50 million people around the world targeted treatment for neglected tropical diseases. Every day of our lives is a commitment to improving the world. We actually were giving a commitment. We made a commitment. My commitment is an extension of my program, Doc to Doc. We're producing a duffel bag that we're going to fill up with medical supplies that are perfectly selected for rural health care in developing countries. Just to think about where we would be without the Clinton Global Initiative is extremely hard to do. It gave a neighborhood the realization that it had not been forgotten or abandoned. Citizens coming together, taking action. That's what we want more of from the young people of America and the world. And that's why we're going to expand the idea of the Clinton Global Initiative to CGIU. It's called the Clinton Global Initiative University, and it begins in New Orleans two years after Hurricane Katrina destroyed much of the city, leaving nearly a million Americans homeless. This generation of young people has more power as private citizens to do public good than any previous generation. Coming here and listening to other people, it really gives you, you know, opens up your mind to doing something really ambitious. We as a generation are very motivated and we're inspired and we're excited to know that the work that we're going to do today is going to affect generations to come. I'm very happy because I heard CGI will go to Asia next year. We want to begin to have meetings in other parts of the world to focus on the unique opportunities and responsibilities there. If the standard of living is increased in that part of the world, there will in the rest of the world as well. It's a great market for growth, a great market for innovation, and a great market for partnership and talent. CGI have wonderful ideas. We need to share this idea to the world. This year we set up a special website called mycommitment.org. Even more than Bill Gates and Warren Buffett or a former president, if just citizens, working people, decide at the same time that they're going to solve some problem. They have more power. I want somehow for all of us to be able to leave here, being able to move more people from opinion to conviction, from inclination to action, from being people who endlessly say, I wish, to simply saying, I will.